So multivariate linear regression, for this we are going to be using this uh, data set, which is right here. I have opened it using this link and let me just, um, okay, zoom it. So what it contains is there is, it is a data set, it contains about 10,000 rows and uh, the dependent variable here is NPG, which is miles per gallon. And the independent variables are how many cylinders the car has, the displacement, horsepower, weight, acceleration, model year, okay? In uh, what is the uh, model year of that car, the origin of the car, and the name of the car. So you can see this is, this is uh, the first data of the first car right here, okay? data of the second car. So the, that's why there are about 10,000 of these. And we are going to train our model to work with all these um, independent variables in order to predict the miles per gallon. Okay. And this is the file given. You can access this file from the link in the description box so that you can also code along. And these are the libraries, NumPy and Pandas and matplotlib as usual later on we will be using sklearn as well when we want to plot all, all these things so i think by now you're already familiar with this part of the code that is simply uh, reading the csv file and then printing the data frame uh, just about a couple of rows so that you you know this is what is happening okay these are the cars getting uh, cars and their details and the miles per gallon which is our dependent variable Okay. Now that could be uh, usually when you take up a, a project in data science or, or data analysis and visualization, that could be some uh, missing data or unclean data, data that's not, not proper and doesn't make sense. So for such kind of data, you would have to first of all do some cleaning. Okay. Now, because we are not getting too much into uh, uh, data science, we want to do this with as little code as possible, which is why I have taken data sets which are not really that um, that hard to clean. And up till now, we haven't even cleaned any of the data sets. But now this data set contains some empty blank values. For example, uh, you can see there is this um, horsepower which is uh, missing for some of the records. Okay. And so what I want to do is remove such records and that's that's exactly what's happening here. Uh, did I run this code? Let me just run that code up. Okay. Now for this, um, first of all, in order to find these types of rows, you have to use this auto underscore df. Okay, because that's the, uh, that's the variable in which we read all these things. So auto df and once again, auto df, we are doing it that way. Oh, right here. We are doing it that way because um, it is a two-dimensional array, and that's why we we have to specify it twice. So we want horsepower, and we want to check if this double equal to um, question mark. Okay, question mark, which means it is it does not have a, a value. So that's what we are doing. Okay, so we are getting there. Uh, now we just we don't just want these. Uh, this data we want the index of, of such rows where this is happening so that's why we've just added dot index to this to this thing okay we've just added dot index let me run the previous one previous cell first okay so these are the values and now we are just fetching all those indices by writing dot index to the same thing we wrote earlier and getting all those index index indices into index names um, variable and then we want to delete such so to do that you just have to use the drop function so auto underscore df is a variable containing the csv and just write dot drop and pass the indices you want to drop okay and we want it to be dropped in place so it should not change once we have dropped one of the indices so this is in place equal to true and so it will drop all those indices and now just to check if this has worked or not. Uh, first of all, let me run this. Okay. So let that cell, okay, that cell is done. Now to check whether this, this worked or not, we are going to be going to do this 
this line which you see right here we are going to do do that line again okay just to see if there are still any question marks available uh, any any values which are missing in horsepower so you can see as a result of this let me run that so as a result of this you can see that i'm getting a table which has no rows which means now there are no more question marks for horsepower okay and uh, the next thing we are doing is just assigning a data type okay to to horsepower okay just to see the the information okay so we are assigning a data type float to horsepower you can see here right here okay and if you do dot info then you can get all the data types for all your columns which is which you're seeing here the memory usage and everything so okay, you can see this uh, right here there are nine columns okay and now what do we do we have to now specify our x and y variables in order to create our regression model okay so in this case x is going to be we are going to use the i lock function once again which we used um, for polynomial regression as well so you're familiar with it so we want all the values um, and the columns that we are specifying we want all the rows but the columns that we want are one to eight okay because there are nine columns and uh, as you know we always start from zero so there are columns from zero to index to the eighth index and we are taking columns from the first index to the eighth index into x because those are our independent variables but uh, the zeroth column the first column itself is mpg which is miles per gallon which which we want to predict which is why y is going to contain only the zeroth column okay so dot values just puts all those values into x and y and then you can see the shape if you like okay so let's run this it's running fine if you want to see you can see the shape of x okay it contains 392 rows and seven uh, columns um, right uh, sorry it's not 10,000 rows like I said before it's only 392 rows okay now um, next we are going to do this we are going to import all these things right uh, we are going to import linear regression as usual and also mean squared error because um, this time we have to find that error the, this mean squared error when we plot a line okay i've explained mean squared error i think um in um in my video on on linear regression so you can see that and we are also going to do some training and testing so we are going to split our data set because it's a it's slightly larger one than what we used earlier so we're going to split it into training data and testing data okay and now we have um so to, to do that type of a training and splitting, we are going to do this, do it this way. So you need to pass four variables. The first variable is X train. So this means all the values of X that will be uh, all the values of independent variables that we will use to train the model. And X underscore test are all the values of uh, independent variables that we will use to later on test our model. And similarly, we have Y train and y test y train for all values of y that we will be using to train the model and y test for all the values of y that we will be using to test to the model and then we can split our data using this function right here and then we will create a, an object of linear regression as you can see here okay and then we will use the dot fit function in order to uh fit our data into it so we, we will we will be passing here the training data set so for training we have x underscore train and y underscore train which we are passing here you can see okay and let's run it so as a result i'm getting this which means there is no um, error and and the model is fine so now we are going to uh try to predict using this uh, model that we created um, we are going to use this Honda Prelude right here. Okay, so Honda Prelude car, we are going to use that. And we are going to pass the values of cylinder, displacement, horsepower, weight, acceleration, model year, and origin. So these are the values we will be passing in this order. 
and you can see I've just searched for Honda Prelude over here and this is this is the row that contains it okay and uh, it's mpg which is uh, miles per gallon is 33.7 and the rest of the values are already in the same order as required so 4107 uh, 4 is i think number of cylinders 107 must be the displacement 75 is the horsepower the weight is due to 10 14.4 is acceleration and um, where did that go yeah so model year and uh, origin is given also so we just have to copy from four to three copy these values and paste them over here in np dot array to create the, the array that we want and save it as trial data variable and then we have to reshape it uh, because we need um, minus one comma seven because uh, we need a two-dimensional array to pass it into the model okay and once we've done the reshaping uh, we just have to assign the type float to that okay and then we we are ready to predict so let me run this this thing first and then we are ready to predict this so we are just going to do regressor dot predict regressor is the model we created here we are using the predict function where we are passing the trial data, which means we are passing the value of X to get the value of Y. And if we run this, we are getting 33.06 and the actual uh, miles per gallon is 33.7. So that should be, that's very close. You can see it's predicting quite well, the miles per ga gallon given the car. And uh, we could also go and uh, predict um, maybe one more one more car let's let's see uh let's search for mercedes okay we have three so one mercedes benz 280s we have 300d and 240d okay so uh, i think uh, let's go for 280s and here the miles per gallon is 16.5 and the rest of the values i'm going to copy from here and uh, paste them right here and then you just have to run this code and let's see the prediction so it says 17.9 uh, which is also quite close here it is 16.5 okay uh, let's take one of the values from the uh, bottom let us see a uh, uh, ford ranger which is right here so let's say let's take all these values remember the miles per gallon is 28 so let's paste all these things here um, okay let's paste it and run it oh okay i pasted, pasted it outside the brackets so let me just um, put it inside the brackets and let's run it okay let's predict so it says 29.3 the actual is 28 which is not so bad not we're not very far so um i hope you understood how you can do the predictions and how you can uh, create a polynomial a regression as well as a multivariate linear regression so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching